Hello, hello, Creative Stampers. How are you this happy Friday Funfold morning? I have got an incredible Funfold for you today. I am so excited. Now, there are a lot of pieces to this thing and a lot of scoring and cutting, but we can do that. Scoring and gluing, that's what I meant. Cutting, gluing, all those things. It's a lot of fun. Um, you are just going to be wowed. And I'm going to show you what it looks like before we make it because it, yeah, it's way cool. You're going to love it. All right. How are you doing? Um, is anybody warming up my northern wonderful people? Uh, Texas has just been normal, you know, cloudy, 50s, you know, Texas winter. <laughs> no color, just brown. Well, I take that back. There's a wee bit of color because I have live oaks in my front yard, so I do have green leaves. Uh, yeah, live oaks are pretty cool trees. I like them. Anyways. <laughs> see what we've got here. Oh my goodness. Yes. Luana and Rosie and Marie K. Kim V. Tiffany, Chris, Sandra, Joan, Sherry. And now we're starting to repeat. Y'all are talking to each other and I just think that's the coolest. Oh, Elsby. I love that name. Oh, how fun. Uh, Anna or Anna. I never know how to pronounce that one. Sorry. Uh, Karen, Susan, Tony, y'all are the best. Thank y'all so much for showing up this morning. Okay, y'all ready to see this thing? Oh my gosh, so cool. Okay, I gotta get it down. <laughs> I put it up here. Ah, ooh. everything's falling. Okay, here we go. Dun, da, da, dun. Ah, okay. All right, so this is what it looks like. It has a belly band. Now, be careful on your belly band when we make this. I made it too tight. It doesn't really come off the top very well. It'll come off the bottom because you can kind of squish it, but you ready? Here we go. We're calling it the pop-up flying hearts. Woo! Isn't <laughs> that fun? Oh my gosh, I love this. Now, of course, it doesn't have to be hearts. Um, I thought, you know, this would be really cute with the bees. What do you think? Little bees coming up here? Um, but anything, you know, anything that's about that size. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to make this card today. Can't wait. All right. Um, what else? Oh, notice my mat. Uh, so my glass mat in front of me, I was making it. It's covered in glue. There's like all these little glues. That, and so those of you who have this glass mat, or if you're going to sign up to be a demonstrator and get it for free, uh, with the new joining special, I just take this, um, I just poured regular rubbing alcohol in this little spray bottle and you can get these anywhere. Um, I got mine on Amazon and I just spray and I get my little cloth. Actually, I could get the cloth that actually let's get the cloth that comes with it. This is the cloth that comes with it. I keep it in a Ziploc so it stays moist. Um, yeah, here we go. And then I just Rub it off of there. Oh my gosh. Yay. Ow. I hit my computer. I'm sorry about that. I'm going so fast. I love it. Now, my desktop is a little wet, so I do want to dry it. <laughs> I guess this is a little moist. But let me put that back in there. I love that cloth. But I do, you do have to keep it. If you want to use it throughout the day, keep it in a Ziploc baggie uh, to trap the moisture. But don't leave it in here for like weeks without opening it or, you know, what will happen? You get a nasty mess. Um, and they just w throw it in the washing machine and clean it. Okay. Yay. Okay. And this is just a micro cloth. It's just a regular house dusting cloth. Ta-da! It's all clean. <laughs> all right. How do we make this thing? Y'all ready? Here we go. First thing is the base. All right. You're going to have to have two pieces for your base. All right. This one. Oh, and let me get the measurements up here. And don't forget the measurements are on the blog and I will be emailing you a uh, downloadable document that has all the measurements and in written instructions. So let me get to my banners. All right. So my first one, here we go. The base is four and a quarter. Uh, yeah. Four and a quarter. Get out of the way of there. Four and a quarter by 11. Okay, so it's just a regular sheet of cardstock just cut in half long ways. Okay, that's pretty simple. This piece, however, is six inches by seven and three quarters. All right. Now, the six inches I have found can be longer depending on how many of the little pop ups you want. Where'd my card go? So I can show you what I'm talking about. Here it is. All right. 
So these pop-ups, these little things are one inch, but if you wanted more than just the six, um, you could get more in there. It'd be, they'd be more, they'd be all squished together, but um, you just make this longer than six inches because we're going to cut it into one inch strips. All right. Da, 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 da. Come on. Like I said, you really need to make sure you don't make the belly band too tight because it's hard to get back on there. All right, there we go. Yeah, definitely need a belly band for this card. <laughs> All right, so we have that. All right, what else do we need? We're going to need some designer series paper. So let's get that out. I am using our Adored Hearts, okay? So this is that really beautiful flirty flamingo and real red, and on the back is the white and gold. Actually, we're going to use the gold marble on the front of our card, and we're going to use these hearts on the inside, okay? So that is our designer paper. It's uh, four inches by five and an eighth, okay? We're going to be our, we're not just having one uh, fold here, so we're going to have two, and it'll make this section shorter. So it's five and an eighth. Uh, be sure you notice that. Okay, so you got that. What else do we need? We need some little tabs. All right, these little tabs are... Um, I'm going to actually make this card a wee bit different. Oh, come on now. Where are my other ones? Oh, shoot. When I moved everything, they all fell everywhere. Ah. Well, I'll find them in a little bit. You need four of them. Is this one? No, that's the pecan pie one. I don't want them. I made the other card in pecan pie. It was too dark. I didn't like it, so I'm making this one in crumb cake. All right. Well, it's not here, so there you go. That's, that's making cards live video. <laughs> you lose things all the time. <laughs> okay. Another thing we're going to do is we are going to put our uh, hearts on circles. Okay. On my original card, I didn't do that. And that's okay. And that's what these tabs are for to um, basically to make the hearts pop up more. Um, they're kind of, let me show you on the, the original card again. So they're kind of hidden when you pop it up. So I want the hearts to come up, to pop up more. So you see the hearts better. So we have these little tabs and then we're gonna put a heart, I mean a circle up there and put our heart on the circle. Um, so it's gonna be a little different, but it'll be all be in the directions, okay? It'll all be in the directions. All right, now what else do we need? Okay, so there's the circles. I cut my circles at one and three quarters. Um, any size will do. You just wanna make sure that you don't extend past the four and a quarter, um, section of the card or it just won't fit in the envelope unless you use a bigger envelope. Okay. Now let's get to making this card. Okay. Here we go. Let's put all these back there. All right. Move all of this here. Oh, and this, uh, this is a six by six, uh, card stock. And I'm using it. It just kind of depends on what you want to make your hearts out of. Um, you can cut your hearts out of the heart die or what I'm doing is I'm doing the embossing folder and cutting them out at the same time embossing and cutting because I want to show you how to use this. Um, and so uh, six by six paper fits in this embossing folder. This is all part of the Adored Hearts, Adoring Hearts set. So it's it's got dies. It's got the dies and it's got the embossing. It's all one bundle. It's an excellent value for getting an embossing folder and dies and a stamp set. Wow. Okay, so we're going to do that, but before we do that, let's score. Okay, so I've got the scoring measurements here for you. Let me pull that up. Oh, and also this paper is free. <laughs> you know that. Uh, for those of you who are new, you're just finding me. First of all, my name's Christina Reese, and um, we are in a time called Sale Abration with Stampin' Up. Sale Abration is... Uh, where you purchase $50 worth of product and you get to choose free products from the celebration brochure. And I'll show you that in a minute, but first let's get this scored. So I just did it at five and three eighths. Now I want to do it at five and five eighths. So five and three eighths is just past the five and a quarter. Five and five eighths is just past the five and a half. Okay. I feel like I'm back in middle school math teaching. I was a former math teacher. <laughs> in my first life. Yep. Top middle school. My little darlings. Okay. So we have this, we just hardly anything, just a quarter inch. Now when you fold it, make sure you get it straight on. Okay. You line up those edges and bring it down. Make sure they stay lined up. 
Okay, get your bone folder out. Okay. There we go. Nope, it's still, it's wanting to. Okay, maybe my, maybe it's not cut straight. Oh, gosh, lordy, lordy. That would just be it, wouldn't it? Okay. No, it's cut straight. Yeah, all right. There we go. Just, yeah, just make sure when you crease it that it stays lined up along the edge there. Okay, there we go. All right, so we have this, because all of these hearts, <laughs> that's a lot of hearts in there, see? And so you need that room um, to fold it. Okay. All right, so we have this piece. Now we're done. Uh, no, we're not. We need to put the designer paper on. So let's put the designer paper on. Um, like I said, on the front, I'm going to do the gold marble. So let's get out some adhesive. I need to check my comments, make sure I'm not missing anything. If you all have a question, if I'm going too fast, if you want me to repeat something, just put um, a question mark in front of your question so that I can find it real fast as I scroll through all the comments. And I'm going to do that right now. Make sure I haven't missed anything. Whoops. Okay. I just highlighted everything. No, I don't want to highlight everything. There we go. Oh, Tina's got to go. She's going to finish on the replay. Okay, Tina. And another gloomy day in Arkansas. Yeah, that's how it is here in Texas. Morning, morning, morning. Okay. All right. Don't see any questions. Very good. Back to our, our thing here. So let me take this off here so y'all can see better. There we go. And now open it up. And we have, I'm, do, I'm using the, the, the heart side. On my first one, I used the gold side, but I thought, yeah, let's change it up a wee bit. Okay. And this is what I'm talking about. This is why this is only five and an eighth. So you want to make sure, so I, this is easier for me to see the score mark there and make sure it's centered as best you can get it. There we go. And then do this one. Make sure my hearts are going the same direction. I guess that doesn't really matter unless you a little OCD, <laughs> but anyways, okay, so there we go. So when we open our card, we'll have hearts, flying hearts, hearts everywhere, hearts, hearts, hearts. Okay, that is that. Put it to the side. We're done with that for now. Let's get this other base. All right, this is where we need a scoring cutting tool. So let me pull up those. We are going to score the base along... Oh, along the seven and three quarters inch. Hold on, let me retype that. Three quarter inch side. There we go, save and show. There we go, okay. So score along, that's the longer side here. So we're gonna put that up against here and we're gonna start at three inches. Okay, so there's three. Get your blade out of the way. Okay, three inches. Then three and three quarters then four and a half and then seven and a half. So I'm going to open up my arm in this trimmer the best. I love this trimmer. Um, seven and a half. Now this is just going to give you a scant little quarter inch over here, but that's where we're going to be gluing this thing together. Now turn it. So you're on the six inch side. Okay. And we're going to be cutting it at every inch. So Line it up along the inch. One. Two. Three. Four. Five and six. That's the nice thing about even numbers. It's going to cut it right in half. And I only have to do that last cut. And then we got these last two. Okay. Now we need to create the little accordion uh, that pops the hearts up. Okay. So y'all go watch this. I'm going to move this so it's out of the way. Okay. Here we go. Um, 
we're going to make a W. So this will be the peak of the W. Okay. And then these two score lines on either side, whoops, come here, are going to go up. Okay. So like that. And we're going to make this long skinny W. Okay. A long skinny W. Okay. Then this piece up here folds in. Okay. And we're going to glue that together. All right. So we'll glue them all together in just a sec. Let's get them all folded. So one more time up and then make, come bring these up, making the W. Okay. And then this one goes down. Okay. One more time. It's like, how fast can we do it? <laughs> Ooh, my little nimble fingers. Okay. By the time you've done all six of these, you'll go, oh, I know how to do this. This is easy. <laughs> yeah, it is easy. Okay, now, um, the next thing is we're going to glue these together. Now, um, Marie sent me this most awesome little glue bottle. You can get these at Amazon, uh, craft stores, anywhere. They come with a silicone little tab thing that goes in there, but I took it out. Actually, um, I have a pretty decorative one. I'm, I use this stick pin one because it gets all work. But this, um, another friend made, one of you all made this beautiful one for me. And that goes in there like that. Okay. Just like that. And come on, come back out. Come on. <laughs> Gosh. All right. So whatever. It's our glue. The reason we need this is because we only want an itty bitty bit of glue here. Okay, if you get too much glue here, you are going to have a mess. Okay, now the problem is this glue is really thick. Oh, now huh? I was working with it earlier today. What happened? This is another reason why I use this one. It's longer. Okay. But it keeps pushing that piece in. There we go. I think I have dried glue in there. I might have to get another one. Oh, no, I just pushed the piece all the way down there again. Okay, so it's not a perfect glue bottle. It's just, a, oh, yeah, that is way gunky. Oh, lovely. Okay, I, pull, I pushed my tab back up, but this needs to be cleaned out. I wonder. Oh, well, shoot, I just pushed that big gunk down there. I meant to pull it. I'm just going to not play with that. Oh, live television. Love it. <laughs> Okay, let's get all this glue off of here. Okay. Now, another reason to have alcohol with you is to get it off your fingers. Oh. Okay. Yep. Alcohol just breaks the adhesive. It's awesome. <laughs> of course, people you keep wet uh, wipes on their desk for the same purpose. But All right, now let's see if this will work. You ready? Here we go. One more time. Come on. If it's not going to work, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Ah, yes. There we go. Okay. Quickly put glue on all these. All right. Just a wee bit. Don't need any because I just don't want glue going everywhere. So as long as you keep your glue bottle clear, <laughs> it works like a gem. Okay, there we go. Now, put your lid back on or it's just going to clog again. Okay, so hold on. There we go. If I get the glue off of here, maybe that'll work. There. That's much better. Much better. <sighs> now, just this together. Another reason I like glue is because it kind of wiggles. It, it lets you, um, if you don't get it on there just right when you first attach it, you can kind of move the pieces till they get where you need them. Okay, so we're making these little, I don't know, like arrowhead things. I don't know. Okay, another thing I just noticed. All right, come on. Yeah, so make sure they, come on. Make sure they close flat. 
I'm noticing mine are like coming up on the tip. I might not have scored it exactly where I should have. I'm not sure. My original card was perfect. Why is this one being the ornery? <laughs> yep. That's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. All right. Let me check the comments. Make sure I'm not missing any questions. Yep. Awesome. Nope, no questions. Okay. <laughs> Back to gluing. Ah. All right. Now that we've got all our little pieces, now we are going to put them together to make the little accordion. Okay. All right, now we're going to be gluing them, or I'm gluing them, uh, but you could use uh, adhesive tape. Either one's fine. Um, but you're going to lay them on top of each other, um, staggered evenly apart, uh, spanning the width of four inches. So get your card base back out because you don't want to go. You don't want to go beyond. Actually, you really don't want to go beyond the edges of the designer paper. Okay, because when you close it, you don't want anything sticking out. Okay. So let's move all these here. We'll put this here. And what I'm going to do, and you want the fold part towards you, okay? And also, we're not gluing it to the edge of the designer paper. We're gluing it up here to the edge of the score line, but not right on the score line, okay? Right under the score line, all right? So we're just going to lay these down. And also, um, I found that if you get a pencil, here's a pencil, and make a little mark, where you want each one. So let me get them all laid down first. They're all about a half inch, but not quite. So that's why I like to lay them all down first. Okay, there we go. And we have this last one. So um, you kind of uh, adjust them so that they look about evenly spaced. All right, now come in here with the little pencil and just lightly. There we go. And now we can move this and get our glue back out. Okay. And I'm just going to put a line of glue right there. And I'm just going to glue that right where that pencil mark is and hold it. There we go. And the next one. Oh, goodness. Make sure we've got them in order from how we marked them. There's that piece. And once you get four of them on there, double check your measurements. Remember, measure twice, cut once. Even though we're not cutting. <laughs> measure twice, glue once. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and so these last two you can kind of adjust to how you want it. All right, so we're going to put that back on there. Okay, and then we're going to put this one on there and this one on there and sure enough it's good okay so so it's it's it, like i said this card looks so complicated but once you break it down into the steps it's really simple okay and i'll go back over it all but once again all of it is on the blog and all of it will be downloadable where you can print it off uh, in the email. So if you're not, if you haven't subscribed to my newsletter, to my email, um, you'll want to do that if you want a copy of this. Okay. All right. And there we go. There we go. All right. Now that you've got it, isn't that fun? Okay. Now we're going to attach it to the card. Excuse me. My glasses are fogging up. It's that warm in my crash room today. I need to turn my heater down. Up, oh, down. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, we're going to glue this one to this side and this one to this side. Okay. So it'll be like that. Now you won't be able to open it all the way flat once you have it glued. Okay. Um, once again, you're just going to the edge of... I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. 
You're going right to the edge, but not all the way. All right. So right there. And make sure you're lined up. Okay, and hold that for a sec. Okay, and then this one will just land in place where it's supposed to go, because you're going to close the card on it. There. And make sure it's all lined up correctly where you want it. Hold it. Oh, I'm out of the screen. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what I get for zooming in. Let me zoom back out. There we go. Okay. Ta-da! Now's for the fun part. Now to put the hearts on there. All right, you ready? Okay. Let me get my little glue stopper in there. I love this. This one's the prettiest, <laughs> but it doesn't always keep the glue. Uh, it needs to be a longer uh, stem. Anyways, back to this. So uh, those little tabs are what I need. Okay, my little tabs. Where are my little tabs? There's one. Now I had four of them, I swear. Um, maybe I left them up on the cutter. Um, there's one. Okay, hold on. Let me fix this real quick. I apologize. And this is one and three quarters. Yeah. One and three quarters. Okay, good. So I had four of them. I don't know what happened to the other two, but now I have four. Okay. Oh, I am really hot in here. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to take off my flannel. <laughs> oh, Y'all are being so patient with me this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay, here we go. Um, these are going to go on these four right here, okay? Just these four here. This one has the top um, of the card here, and this one has the bottom of the card there. Oh, my gosh. I am just sweating. All right. Um, and they're just going to glue on there like that. Nothing special, okay? So get my glue out. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to put that one there. Now we made it seven eighths wide. So uh, you have a little room to work with. But um, if that bothers you that, that it's kind of showing like that, um, you can cut these at one inch. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to glue the circles on there. Oh, now where did that? Oh, golly. Tell me it didn't disappear. Oh, no. This is not happening. Is it happening? It's happening. You all are witnessing before your very eyes. I have lost my other piece. Oh, good grief. <laughs> Good grief. Okay. Well, easy fix. <laughs> There's a gremlin in here. Are those kittens in here? Have they been? Oh, there it is. I found it, it was in the circles. Okay. Well, anyways, too late. Okay. There we go. So far, so good. Now the circles. And um, there are six circles. Okay. And I cut them out in gold. Okay, to bring in this gold here. Okay. And we're just going to stick those on there. Actually, before we stick these on here, let's go ahead and put the hearts on there. So let's put this to the side. Let's put these to the side. And the way I want to show you how to use this cut and emboss, we call it a hybrid folder. Okay. A hybrid folder. All right, this is how it works. So you have the folder here and you kind of feel which side is which. Um, the side with the Stampin' Up 
logo is the side that pops up. All right. So that's the side that you want to put your die in and it fits snugly in there. OK, you want the cutting blades up. OK, on the stamping up side. Got it. Got it. Then you take your cardstock. Now, if you only wanted to cut a certain amount of, stock, car, of hearts, you could cut it at a different width. OK, but I want a bunch of these hearts because I've got I want to make a bunch of cards. So we're just going to put that in there like that and fold it. OK, now, did you all get that one more time? We have the Stampin' Up logo. We have the die with the blades facing up. We put it in there nice and snug. It doesn't move. Put our paper on top. Then close it. And now just run it through the machine. Okay. And where is my machine pieces? So over here. Okay. Now, remember, this is a 3D uh, embossing folder. It's super thick. So you need the specialty plate. And we do sell it in the shop, but it goes with a regular. So this is the regular Sizzix base. So if you have a Sizzix and not the Stampin' Up embossing machine, this works just fine. But you do need the Stampin' Up specialty plate with the 3D folders. Okay. Put that in there. And now we'll do the machine. There we go. And check this out. Is this the coolest thing or what? I love this. Now, uh, another thing is when you take all these hearts out, okay. Whoops, that one didn't get cut. Well, shoot. There we go. Uh, you've got this leftover piece, and I want to show you the card I made with this leftover piece. So I took a piece of designer paper, and I backed it, and then I just tied a ribbon and put a saying on there. So this is not waste. This can definitely be used for another card. Okay, so just wanted to show you what you can do with that piece. All right, now that I've got all these cute hearts, yay for hearts. Get all this out of the way. Okay. We go and our circles so i should have six circles pray i haven't lost one and of course yes i have oh good grief no there it is thank you <laughs> I, was, I was gonna freak there for a minute hello sharon she said hi christina oh sandra i'm sorry you have to go but that's all right you can watch on the replay oh the kittens are doing fine i forgot to tell you all yeah so they got fixed if you all are following me on my facebook page uh i took a picture of them and poor calamity oh bless her heart i've already done this in red uh poor calamity bless her heart uh she has a cone and her brother does not and her brother won't leave her alone he thinks the cone is a play toy oh heavens so I ordered a little kitty onesie um, off Amazon. Uh, it comes today. So I'll be taking pictures of her in her new stylish kitty surgery onesie. Um, it will cover her incisions, but still let her, you know, go to the bathroom and all of that. And she won't have this cone on her head, the poor little thing. Just, ah. Uh. Okay, so I have that. Let's see. There's all kinds of embossed images on here. I want to Make sure I get a good variety. All right. So there's this uh, one with like the little heart in it. There's this one with like leaves in it. And then there's this one that's got like sp uh, spray of leaves and twigs or something. I don't know. So we'll do one of each. Okay. And then same thing with the flirty flamingos. So we have, and, and you can tell which side is embossed. So this is the back. And this is the front. Um, it doesn't really matter. They both look nice, but just in case you were wondering. Okay. And so that is what we're doing. I think that's cool. And then I'm saving all these hearts for another project. <laughs> uh, dimensionals. Got to put them all with dimensionals. That This is really going to make the card thick. Okay, you guys. So one, two, three. Whoops. Three, four. Okay. I only have five fingers, so... <laughs> two, three, four. 
five, six. Okay. Oh, good, Nancy. I'm glad to hear that. She said she uh, got one for her puppy when um, she was spayed. Yeah. Um, my one concern, and I'll find out, is her wanting to scratch. You know how kitty cats are always licking themselves and, you know, preening um, that the one that she'll try to tear the onesie off. But we'll see. Um, it's got high recommendations on the Amazon site. So, uh, you know, I picked one that a lot of people have ordered and, and give, gave a five star for. So and it's pink, pink for my princess. <laughs> she looks so styling. There we go. Yeah, 10 days. You don't realize how long 10 days is for a kitty cat. So, but they've been, yeah, they don't even act like they've had surgery. Oh my gosh. They came home and they started wrestling right away. Like I said, uh, Weston thinks her cone is a toy. So that didn't help. But she doesn't like, she doesn't growl or seem like she's hurt and she lets us pick her up and everything. All right. We're ready to put these on. So we need some glue. Where's my glue? Here's my glue. All right. And we'll just go back and forth with the colors. So this first one, though, is going to get back here in the back, just on the card. OK, so and then you could turn them if you wanted, uh, like hearts going different ways. But I'm going to have them all going up. Oh, come on, glue. There we go. And then I need it to not go past the card, so. I have it like that. Bring it down a bit so y'all can see. All right. Then a pink one or flirty flamingo. Okay. Now this, you want to make sure you don't get too much glue everywhere because you only have this little um, stick to stick tab, tab to hold it on with. Now, see, this is why the tab, it works is so that, um, you can get the circle, have some support for that circle and that heart. It can be up a little higher than down here. Um, on the original card, the hearts are way down here and you just don't see them as well. Okay. And I realize I'm still zoomed in. Sorry. Let me zoom back out. All right. There we go. Uh, let's see. Red is next. Matter of fact, let's put glue on the tab. So there we go. So I'm no, I'm not. Whoops. That's not red. <laughs> Okay, and then pink or flirty flamingo. And red. Huh. So fun. And finally, this one actually is going to go down here, okay? Um, you really won't see it. You could put it down here if you'd rather, uh, but I'm going to be putting some other hearts there. So I'm going to put it here. So I'm just putting it right here. I'm not making a tab for this one. There we go. And we're just tucking it in there like so. Okay. All right. So close it. Make sure it all closes. Oh, yeah. Wasn't paying attention. You can't let it go past the side. So, yeah. And it's still kind of going past the side. Yeah. Okay. All right. We've got, we've got that part done. Yay. Now let's decorate it. This one, this video is lasting a while. We're already at 40 minutes. Oh my gosh. I better hurry. Okay. So, um, I pulled out the, um, oh, what are these called? Shoot. This one is nested essential dies. All right. And so this large square rectangle um, I'm doing here, the smaller rectangle, I cut the next size for the front. Okay. And then this one is right here and I cut that for the sentiment. So let's put this on here and I'm going to actually be tucking it under this one. So it, it fits in there. So it'll look like that. Okay. Um, oh, I want to stamp it first though, just in case I mess up. So looks like I got something on here already. There we go. 
Do y'all, do y'all have a gum eraser or a rub, uh, adhesive eraser? These things, it's wonderful. This is another thing you, um, you know, I do have a, my favorite tools or must have tools. That's what it is. My must have tools page. And it gives you links to uh, Amazon links to get these things. But um, yeah, so that's that. And just put some glue on here. Oh no. Oh shoot. I was going to stamp first. I can't, I can't talk and make cards at the same time. <laughs> Thank you, Pam, for sharing. I appreciate that. That is that makes all the difference in the world. Um, the more people that know about us, the more join and have fun. Okay, I'm putting this kind of low because I'm going to put another heart up here in the top. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Now let's put some glue on the back. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I'm just tucking that under there. Okay. Yeah. And so I just thought it looked a little blank up here. It looked like kind of cockeyed because it was like off to the side. So I thought a heart looked better up there. Um, I thought I had a gold heart. Do I not? Oh, no. Oh, goodness gracious. All right. Well, uh, I guess we'll just use one of these, these hearts. It's just as good. Yep. That works fine. Okay. Now, this one I'm gluing on. I don't want to dimension all this. This one is just going to go right there. Okay, there. That's good. Yay. Okay, lots of parts. So there's the inside of our card. Isn't that fun? Oh, my gosh. Here, I'm going to switch it so you can see um, this way. All right, you ready? Okay, so you have the card and you open it. <laughs> Isn't that fun? <gasps> I love that. All right, let's let's make a belly band real quick and then we'll be done. Go back to this view here. There we go. Um, put this inside. First of all, you need a uh, strip that is, I like one and a quarter. Um, I don't know why. One just seems too skinny and one and a half, two is too fat. So one and a quarter is a good compromise for me. Uh, you really only need 10 inches. This is the 12 inches straight across, but I'll trim it once I get around. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Don't let your belly band get too tight. So I, I did it like this and, and did it like that and, and glued it and it was way too tight, couldn't come off. So I'm going to let this open up just a wee bit. So you can you see I've got a little gap on both sides there? Okay. I actually don't even need to trim it. I can just glue that. That's all right. Make sure I get to the edge here. There we go. You want it enough to keep it closed, but not too tight that you can't get it on and off. <laughs> you don't want it too loose that it falls off either. All right. So let's see. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Yeah, that slides a lot easier. Okay, now, but I want this in the back. I don't want that in the front. So let's turn it around. There we go. Oh, come on, get on there. Okay. Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to put this piece on here, just like that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stamp, close this, and get out my flirty, my flirty flamingo to my valentine, to my valentine. You all have a valentine, <laughs> my sweet husband. My poor husband's homesick today. I feel so bad for him. He came home from work yesterday feeling miserable, headache, all that. He went to bed right away, and this morning he woke up and he says, uh -uh, I'm not going to work, so. He's in bed sleep and I made him some, some rice, but made with chicken broth and that's all he's been eating. So at least he's getting that down. I just hate when he doesn't feel well. All right, let's put some dimensionals on here. <laughs> okay, one more time. Um, the instructions are on the blog. 
The downloadable will be in the email if you have not. Oh, wow. Kay's made 52 Valentines already. I am quite impressed, Kay. I just looked over at the comments. Dory, uh, no, no worries that you just got here. I'm going to be going over it real quick, but then you can watch the replay of how I actually did it. And um, let's see. Let me just put that one there. Um, so how uh, I did it. Now, this paper that I'm using, this designer paper, is only available. No, that goes there. Only available uh, free with purchase. OK, it's called Celebration. So uh, if you do not have a Stampin' Up! catalog, this is the Celebration brochure. You get these items for free when you spend $50. Whoops, there's the paper I'm using. Come back here. Yeah, there's the paper I'm using. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. Gold, red, pink. So pretty. Um, so don't forget that. And then also my host code right here. I will send you a thank you gift at the end of the month. Uh, for every $50. Well, I, I send you a free gift on my own. It's not a Stampin' Up! thing. Um, when you spend $50 with me, and then because it's celebration, Stampin' Up! is going to be sending you whatever item you choose in the free catalog. All right, so one more time. Here we go. I'm going to pop up the instructions. So let me get the banner here, uh, starting with the base. All right, the base is four and a quarter, four and a quarter by 11. And then it is scored at five and an eighth and five and three eighths. Okay. Five and three eighths, five and five eighths. Yeah. And it makes this little one quarter inch uh, little thing here. Okay. Then we put designer paper on um, all three sides. Okay. And that was four by five and an eighth because it's not a whole five and a half here. So you need it to be a little shorter. So it fits in there. Um, the next thing is, um, these accordion things here. Okay. So that was a piece of cardstock that was uh, seven and three quarters long and six wide. Um, and then I scored it at three, three and a quarter, four and a half, seven and a half. Then I turned it and cut one inch strip and I made six one inch strips. And then I glued those strips together to make these like triangle things. And then I glued all those triangle things across the four inches. Okay. And then I glued little tabs. Okay. My little tabs were uh, seven and eighths inch. Okay. And you can kind of see it there. Seven and seven eighths inch wide by one and three quarters long. And I cut four of those for the four middle pieces of the accordion. Okay. Um, I put my hearts on circles that I punched out at one and three quarters. Okay. And that just gave it a little, I wanted to compare it to the original one I made. So here's the original one I made. And you can see um, that the hearts just make them pop out more. Okay. They look kind of lost. They also look lost on that dark uh, pecan pie. I switched it to crumb cake. So there you go. And um, is that it? Yeah, that's it. And then I, uh, I just decorated it. So there you go. That is how I made these. And of course, the belly bands. See this belly band? goes here on this one and make sure your belly band's not too tight so it goes on and off easier because my original belly band's kind of tight and you kind of have to squish it squish the card to get it in there but once it's on there then it works so there you go i hope you all enjoyed this fun fold this was so fun to make for you guys and like i said you could do so much with this um not just hearts, but you could do the bees, the Be My Valentine bees. Those would be cute flying. Um, flowers, I've seen it done with flowers. You can see it anywhere. It's hard to find it on Pinterest though, because people call it so many different things. You'll find mine because I'm calling mine the pop-up flying hearts fun fold. And I think I'm the only one who's called it that. Um, some people call it the pop-up accordion but that doesn't help because there's tons of different kinds of pop-up accordions. So uh, a pop-up fan fold, some people call it that, but you're going to get different kinds of pop-up fan folds too. So there's different names for it, but you should be able to find different ideas. Uh, Pinterest, usually when you go to Pinterest and you do pop-up flying hearts and you see mine, it's going to see mine and find other ones that look similar to it and show them as other ones that might look be a part of your search. So Anyways, that's how, how it works. You guys are awesome. Y'all have an awesome weekend. Uh, stay warm. Uh, make lots of cards and send lots of cards. We're so good at making them, but we forget to send them. Challenge. 
send your cards out. Get those Valentines out now. People don't mind getting early Valentines. That way you don't forget. <laughs> okay. Love you guys. Y'all are awesome. Bye-bye.